Welcome back to Sleepy Time Chronicles. Tonight, we embark on a mesmerizing journey with a seasoned adventurer named Alex, who uncovers a hidden book in a forgotten library. As Alex opens the ancient tome, a map revealing the legendary Palace of the Sun King tumbles forth, igniting a spark of curiosity and adventure. With the promise of untold treasures and ancient wisdom beckoning, Alex sets off into the vast desert, a land filled with mysteries and challenges. As the sun rises over golden sands, our adventurer prepares for a quest that will not only test their courage, but also lead them to the heart of the unknown. So, find your comfortable spot, close your eyes, and let the gentle tale of Alex's journey guide you into a realm of dreams and wonder. Allow the warmth of the story to cradle you as you drift into a restful slumber. Chapter 1 The Quest Begins In the heart of a bustling city, hidden within the dusty shelves of a forgotten library, Alex's fingers brushed against the spine of an ancient, leather-bound book. The cover was embossed with symbols that shimmered under the dim light, drawing Alex in with the magnetic pull. As the book opened, a map tumbled out, its edges worn, its lines drawn with meticulous care. The map depicted a vast desert, at the center of which was marked a palace radiating with the golden glow of the sun. Intrigued, Alex pored over the text accompanying the map, which spoke of a palace built from solid gold, guarded by a being known as the Sun King. This king was not just a ruler, but a guardian of ancient wisdom and power his realm said to be unreachable by those unworthy or faint of heart. The legend captivated Alex, a seasoned adventurer who had traversed distant lands in search of treasures and mysteries. Yet, the palace of the Sun King was a tale unheard of, a challenge unmet. The promise of untold riches was enticing, but even more alluring was the mystery of the Sun King himself. Who was this guardian of ancient wisdom? What secrets did the Golden Palace hold? The answers to these questions beckoned Alex more than the gold itself. Determined to find the palace, Alex set about preparing for the journey. The desert was known to be merciless, a vast expanse where the sun reigned supreme, and mirages led even the most experienced travelers astray. The map provided few clues, its symbols and markings obscure hinting at a path known only to those who could decipher its secrets. As night fell, Alex sat alone, the map spread out on the table. The library's silence was a stark contrast to the storm of thoughts raging in Alex's mind. The journey ahead was fraught with danger, the outcome uncertain, Yet, the adventurer within, driven by an insatiable curiosity and a relentless pursuit of the unknown, knew 
there was no turning back. The quest for the palace of the Sun King had begun, and with it, a new chapter in Alex's life, one that would lead through the heart of the desert to the very edge of imagination and beyond. The legend of the Palace of the Sun King was more than a tale of gold. It was a call to adventure, a test of will, and a journey into the unknown. As Alex closed the book, the map folded and tucked safely away. There was a sense of destiny unfolding, a path that was meant to be walked. The night was deep, the world asleep, but for Alex, the adventure was just awakening. The dawn broke with a crimson hue, casting long shadows across the city as Alex began the day with a sense of purpose. The quest for the Palace of the Sun King required meticulous preparation and Alex was well aware that success depended as much on preparation as on courage. The adventurer set out to gather provisions, equipment, and knowledge, understanding that the desert spared no one unprepared. First on the list were supplies. Alex visited the bustling market where merchants from distant lands sold their wares. Water was the desert's currency, and Alex secured ample supplies alongside dried foods, herbs, and spices. Knowing the desert's capricious nature, Alex also acquired a sturdy tent, a compass, and garments woven from light yet durable fabric to shield against the sun's relentless gaze. But Alex knew that physical provisions alone would not suffice. The desert was a land of mysteries, its dangers not just physical, but mental. Seeking wisdom, Alex sought out those who had ventured into the desert's heart. Among them was an elderly cartographer who spoke of shifting sands that concealed ancient ruins and a nomad who whispered tales of mirages that led travelers astray with visions of water and shelter. Armed with this knowledge, Alex spent the following days studying the map and the legends surrounding the Sun King. The map was a puzzle, its symbols hinting at natural landmarks and celestial alignments that would guide the way. Alex plotted a course, taking into account the desert's known dangers and the wisdom gleaned from those who had braved its sands. Preparation also meant honing the body and mind. Alex trained rigorously, adapting to the weight of the supplies and the endurance required for long treks across sand and stone. Meditation and mental exercises fortified Alex's resolve preparing for the psychological trials the desert would undoubtedly impose. The night before departure, Alex reviewed everything once more. The supplies were packed, the route plotted, and the spirit willing. But there was an element of the unknown that no preparation could account for. The desert was a world unto itself, 
governed by ancient forces and the whims of the Sun King. Alex understood that the journey would test limits, challenge beliefs, and perhaps even demand a price too steep to pay. Yet, the call of the adventure was irresistible. The legend of the Palace of the Sun King was not just a tale of riches, but a quest for discovery, for understanding the mysteries of the past and the secrets within oneself. As the stars glittered overhead, Alex felt a connection to the adventurers who had walked this path before, each seeking something beyond the horizon. Tomorrow, the quest would begin, leading into the heart of the desert, towards the Golden Palace and the unknown fate that awaited. The morning sun cast a golden glow over the city as Alex embarked on the journey. The desert lay ahead, a vast expanse of sand and secrets, its horizon merging with the sky. The adventurer's heart beat with anticipation and an unspoken fear of the unknown. The first steps into the desert marked the point of no return the beginning of a quest that would test every ounce of Alex's courage and resolve. The route from the city to the desert's edge was well-traveled, the path winding through rocky outcrops and sparse vegetation. Yet, as the signs of civilization receded, a profound silence enveloped the landscape. A reminder that this was a land untamed by human hands. It was here, at the gateway to the desert, that Alex encountered the first guardian of the journey. An old merchant sat by the roadside, his wares spread out on a worn blanket. Among the trinkets and baubles, one item caught Alex's eye, a talisman made of a strange metal that gleamed with an inner light. The merchant, noting Alex's interest, spoke of the talisman's power to reveal the true path through the desert, to guide the worthy to the palace of the Sun King. Skeptical yet intrigued, Alex listened as the merchant wove tales of adventurers who had sought the palace, their fates varied and veiled in mystery. Some had returned, changed in ways that words could not capture, while others had vanished, swallowed by the desert's embrace. The talisman, the merchant claimed, had been forged in the palace itself. A gift from the Sun King to those who dared to seek his domain. The decision to purchase the talisman was driven by a mix of intuition and the fear of facing the desert's mirages unaided. With the talisman in hand, Alex felt a surge of confidence, a sense that the path ahead, though fraught with danger, was meant to be tread. The merchant's final words were a warning, spoken with a gravity that chilled the air. The desert is a mirror, reflecting the heart of those who walk its sands. Fear, desire, and courage will shape your journey. Trust the talisman, but trust yourself more. 
with the merchant's warning echoing in mind. Alex stepped into the desert, the sand shifting underfoot, a tangible reminder of the land's ever-changing nature. The sun climbed higher, its rays a relentless force, testing the body's limits and the mind's resolve. The first day's travel was a lesson in humility. The desert, vast and indifferent, cared not for ambition or desire. Water and shade became treasures, the talisman a beacon, pulsing softly with warmth as if guiding Alex forward. As the sun set, painting the sky in hues of fire, Alex set up camp, the solitude of the desert, a stark contrast to the bustling city left behind. That night, under a blanket of stars, the weight of the quest settled on Alex's shoulders. The silence of the desert was a canvas for the mind's whispers, fears and doubts creeping in with the darkness. Yet, amidst the uncertainty, a resolve took root. The journey to the Palace of the Sun King was more than a quest for gold. It was a pilgrimage into the unknown, a test of the spirit. As sleep claimed Alex, the desert whispered secrets on the wind, the talisman glowing softly by the adventurer's side, a silent guardian against the night's unseen dangers. In the heart of the desert, under a canopy of stars, the boundary between dream and reality blurred. Alex, caught in the embrace of a restless sleep, was visited by visions. These were not mere dreams, but whispers of the desert, carrying messages from the depths of the sand and the ancient stars above. The vision transported Alex to the gates of a magnificent palace its walls and spires gleaming with a golden light that rivaled the sun itself. The air vibrated with an unseen energy, and as Alex approached, the gates swung open silently, revealing a courtyard bathed in an ethereal glow. At the center stood a figure, regal and imposing, yet shrouded in shadows. The Sun King, guardian of the palace, his eyes gleaming with the wisdom of ages. In this dreamscape, the Sun King spoke, his voice resonating within Alex's mind. Seeker of the palace, your journey is one of both peril and revelation. The path you walk is your own, but the destiny you seek is intertwined with the land and its ancient secrets. The vision shifted, revealing mirages that danced on the horizon, visions of oases lush with life, only to vanish in a breath. Cities of sand, their towers crumbling to dust, and faces, some familiar, others forgotten, all whispering of courage, fear, and the price of seeking the unknown. As dawn's first light crept across the desert, Alex awoke, the echoes of the vision lingering like the memory of a distant melody. The talisman still warm to the touch, seemed to pulsate with a deeper light, as if energized by the night's encounter. Shaken yet 
determined. Alex set forth as the sun reclaimed its dominion over the desert. The day's journey was a reflection of the vision, the desert revealing its dual nature, both beautiful and treacherous. Mirages taunted the edges of sight. Oases appeared only to fade into the heat-hazed air, and the sand seemed to shift, leading Alex on a path that felt both chosen and yet uncertain. The desert, in its vast silence, became a teacher. Each step, a lesson in perseverance. Each mirage, a test of discernment. The talisman, ever-present, guided Alex through the shifting sands, its warmth a beacon amidst the illusions. As the sun began its descent, a mirage larger and more convincing than any before materialized on the horizon. A city of gold, its towers sparkling in the fading light, promised shelter and respite. The lessons of the desert and the whispers of the night held Alex steadfast. Approaching cautiously, the city shimmered, its form blurring, until with a sigh of the wind, it dissolved into the sand from which it had risen. The realization struck with the force of a revelation. The desert's mirages were not merely illusions, but reflections of desire, fear, and the inner battles that each traveler must face. The vision of the night before the Sun King's words all pointed to a truth beyond the physical journey. The quest for the palace of the Sun King was as much about the discovery of self as it was about finding the palace. As night enveloped the desert once more, Alex camped beside a solitary rock, its shape a testament to the endurance of nature. The stars, ancient and unchanging, watched over the land, their light a guide for those who dared to walk the desert's path. The whispers of the night returned, but this time Alex listened with a heart open to understanding. The journey was far from over, the challenges ahead unknown, but the resolve to continue to seek the truth behind the legend was unshaken. The journey through the desert continued under the relentless sun, each day a test of endurance and will. The vastness of the sands, with their ever-shifting dunes, seemed infinite. A world where time itself had surrendered to the elements. It was in this desolate expanse that Alex, driven by the quest for the Palace of the Sun King, discovered an oasis, a haven of life amidst the barrenness. The oasis appeared as a mirage at first, a trick of the light and heat, but as Alex drew closer, the vision solidified. Palm trees swayed gently in the breeze, their leaves whispering secrets of survival. Crystal clear water reflected the sky, a pool of life in the heart of the desert. It was here, amidst the tranquility of the oasis, that Alex's path crossed with that of another. The traveler was an enigma, clothed in garments 
that spoke of distant lands and eyes that held the depth of the desert's mysteries. Seated by the water's edge, the traveler greeted Alex with a nod, an acknowledgement between those who walk the desert's paths. As the sun set, painting the sky in shades of gold and crimson, the traveler began to speak. Tales of the Sun King and his golden palace unfolded like the petals of a flower under the moon's caress. The traveler spoke of a realm untouched by time, where the sun's power was harnessed in ways beyond imagination. The palace was not just a place of wealth, but of wisdom, a testament to a civilization that had mastered the harmony between the land and the celestial. The traveler, it was revealed, had once sought the palace, driven by the same desire for knowledge and the allure of the unknown. Yet, the journey was fraught with challenges, both external and internal. The desert, with its mirages and trials, was but the first test. The true path to the palace required understanding the language of the sun and the earth, a harmony between the seeker and the sought. As the night deepened, the traveler offered Alex a gift, a map, not of paper and ink, but of symbols and signs, a guide to reading the desert's hidden messages. The map was a key to unlocking the next stage of the journey, a path that wound through the heart of the desert to the foot of the mountains where the sun kissed the earth. The traveler's advice was cryptic, a puzzle wrapped in the mysteries of the desert. Seek the place where shadows tell the truth and the sun reveals the path, the traveler whispered, the words hanging in the air like a spell. The palace awaits not those who seek its riches, but those who seek its wisdom. With the break of dawn, the oasis seemed to shimmer with a new light, the water a mirror to the sky's awakening. The traveler was gone, vanished like a dream upon waking. Yet, the map remained, a tangible link to the tales of the night before. Alex studied the map, its symbols now alive with possibility. The journey to the palace of the Sun King was not just a quest for a place, but a quest for understanding, the secrets of the desert, the wisdom of the Sun King, and the discovery of one's own inner strength. The oasis, once a mere stop for rest and respite, had become a crossroads. With renewed determination, Alex set forth the map a guide through the sands of time towards a destiny that lay hidden beneath the sun's eternal gaze. The path ahead was uncertain, the trials many, but the quest for the palace of the Sun King had taken on a new dimension. It was a journey of discovery, not just of the world, but of the self. And as the sun rose, casting its golden light over the desert, Alex stepped forward, into the mystery, into the legend, 
into the heart of the sun's domain. Guided by the cryptic map and fueled by tales of ancient wisdom, Alex's journey ventured deeper into the heart of the desert. The oasis with its promise of life and mystery, became a memory, a point of departure into realms untouched by time. The desert, vast and unyielding, revealed its secrets slowly through signs and wonders that spoke of a civilization once graced by the Sun King's favor. Days turned into nights, and the sun and stars traced their ancient paths across the sky, guiding Alex through the endless sands. It was amidst this timeless landscape that the first ruins appeared, emerging from the sand like ghosts of the past. Towering structures worn by time yet still majestic, marked the remnants of a city that had once thrived under the sun's gaze. The air around the ruins vibrated with a silent power, as if the stones themselves whispered tales of their glory days. Hieroglyphs and symbols adorned the walls, cryptic messages left by a people who had mastered the desert's challenges and basked in the Sun King's light. These were the clues Alex had been searching for, the keys to unraveling the path to the legendary palace. With each step through the ruins, Alex felt as though walking in the footsteps of those who had come before, seekers of wisdom and power, blessed by the sun. The symbols on the map, aligned with those etched in the ancient stone, a language of the earth and sky that spoke of harmony, balance, and the journey of the soul. The deciphering of these symbols became both a challenge and a meditation. Each hieroglyph was a piece of a larger puzzle, a story of creation, of the sun's journey across the heavens, and of the earth's eternal dance with light and shadow. The people who had built these structures understood the cycles of nature and the cosmos, their lives intertwined with the rhythms of the universe. As Alex pieced together the messages left in the ruins, a picture began to emerge. The path to the Palace of the Sun King was not merely a physical journey, but a spiritual one. It required understanding the balance between light and dark, the cycles of growth and decay, and the eternal quest for knowledge. The ruins revealed more than just the direction to the palace. They offered insight into the philosophy of its people. They revered the Sun King not just as a ruler, but as a symbol of enlightenment, a beacon guiding them towards higher understanding. Their civilization had flourished in the desert, a testament to their harmony with the land and the celestial powers. With the mysteries of the ruins slowly unraveling, Alex found the next clue in the form of a grand archway, standing solitary amidst the sands. The 
archway was adorned with intricate carvings, depicting the sun in its zenith, casting rays that seemed to illuminate a path forward. Following the direction of these rays, Alex ventured deeper into the desert, the ruins a silent farewell to a chapter of the journey. The sun's position in the sky, the alignment of the stars, and the symbols on the map converged, leading Alex towards a distant mountain range where the earth touched the sky. It was here, the map indicated, that the next leg of the journey would begin, a climb towards the heavens and the secrets they held. The desert, with its ancient ruins and whispered secrets, had been a teacher, a guardian, and a challenge. Alex moved forward, carrying the wisdom of the past and the promise of the future. The quest for the palace of the Sun King once a dream etched in gold, was now a journey across the sands of time. A quest, not just for a place, but for the very essence of enlightenment. The ruins faded into the distance, but their lessons remained, etched in memory and spirit. Ahead lay the mountains, their peaks shrouded in mystery and bathed in the sun's eternal light, calling Alex to discover the truths hidden within their embrace. Chapter 2 Trials of the Sun Path As Alex approached the foot of the mountains, the desert unveiled its most bewildering marvel yet, a city that flickered in and out of existence with the sun's ascent and ascent. This mirage city, as Alex would come to think of it, appeared at dawn, its structures glowing with the first light, only to vanish at dusk, leaving behind nothing but the desert's whispering sands. This city of illusions, a test laid by the Sun King himself, stood as the gateway to the trials of the Sun Path. Navigating the Mirage City was unlike any challenge Alex had faced. The city's layout seemed to change with the angle of the sun alleys and streets shifting with the passing hours. Buildings that appeared solid in the morning light would, by midday, dissolve into mere reflections of the desert sky. It was a labyrinth designed not just to confuse, but to enlighten, demanding insight and perception over brute strength. The first test came in the form of a grand plaza at the city's heart, where a statue of the Sun King held aloft a golden orb. Around the statue were inscriptions in the ancient language of the desert, the same cryptic symbols that had guided Alex through the ruins. It became clear that each inscription corresponded to a different part of the city, and by solving the riddles contained within, Alex could unlock the path forward. The puzzles required a deep understanding of the desert's rhythms and the sun's cycle. One riddle spoke of a shadow that pointed the way leading Alex to observe the shifting of shadows cast by the city's structures, revealing hidden doors and passages 
when the sun was at its zenith. Another puzzle involved aligning light, reflected from polished stones, to unveil a map of the city, etched into the ground, visible only when the sun's rays hit at the perfect angle. With each solved puzzle, the Mirage City revealed its secrets, guiding Alex through its ethereal streets towards the mountain pass. But the city's final test was its most challenging. At the city's edge, where the mirage began to blend back into the desert, stood a gate wrought from sunlight itself, its bars casting long shadows on the sand. The gate bore no lock, nor did it yield to physical force. Instead, it was adorned with an inscription that read, Only those who walk in harmony with the sun may pass. The key to this enigma lay in understanding the essence of the sun path. A path of balance, or light and shadow knowledge, and wisdom were intertwined. As Alex pondered the gate's inscription, the solution came with the setting sun. By positioning themselves so their shadow completed the missing part of an intricate sun symbol on the ground before the gate, the bars of light dissolved, allowing passage just as the city began to fade with the dusk. Beyond the Mirage City, the terrain shifted dramatically, leading into the mountain's embrace. The air grew cooler, and the landscape turned from sand to stone, marking a new phase in Alex's quest. The Mirage City, with its illusions and tests, had been a crucible, honing Alex's wisdom and resolve for the trials that lay ahead on the sun path. The lessons of the Mirage City, the importance of perspective, the balance between light and shadow, and the value of wisdom over strength, would guide Alex as they ascended the mountain drawing ever closer to the legendary palace of the Sun King. The city, a mirage of light and sand, had vanished behind them, but its impact on the journey was indelible. A testament to the Sun King's wisdom and the transformative power of the quest. As Alex ascended the mountain path, leaving the enigmatic Mirage City behind, the journey took a turn towards the elemental. The desert's vast, open skies were replaced by towering cliffs and narrow passes, where the sun's rays touched only briefly each day. It was in one such pass where the light danced across the rocks, that Alex encountered the Guardian of Flames. Emerging from a sunlit archway, the Guardian took form before Alex's eyes, a creature composed entirely of flames and sunlight, its body shifting and crackling with the intensity of a desert inferno. The air shimmered with heat around it, and the ground beneath its feet scorched and blackened. This was the Sun King's sentinel, a being of pure energy, tasked with testing the worthiness of those who sought the palace. The Guardian spoke not with words, 
but with the roar of fire. Its presence, an immediate challenge to Alex. Remembering the tales of the Sun King and the trials of the path, Alex knew that brute force would not prevail against such a foe. The talisman, gifted by the mysterious traveler at the oasis, pulsed with a cool light, a stark contrast to the guardian's blaze. Understanding dawned on Alex. The talisman was not just a guide, but a key to overcoming the trials of the sun path. Holding the talisman aloft, Alex focused on the essence of the desert's night, invoking the chill that descended after sunset, when the sand lost its warmth and the stars blazed in the cold sky. The talisman's light grew, casting a soothing glow that countered the guardian's flames. It was a battle not of strength, but of balance, the searing heat of the day against the cool reprieve of the night. Alex moved carefully, using the talisman to deflect the guardian's fiery assaults, weaving through the barrage of flames with the dancer's grace. The guardian, for all its ferocity, was bound to the essence of sunlight and flame. As the talisman's cool light enveloped it, its movements grew sluggish, the flames that comprised its form dimming. Alex, seizing the moment, pressed the talisman forward, directing the desert's chill like a lance through the heart of the inferno. With a sound like the breaking of dawn, the guardian's flames extinguished, its form dissipating into a shower of light that faded into the mountain air. The path forward was clear, the guardian's defeat a testament to Alex's wisdom and the power of balance. The talisman, once again tranquil, seemed to pulse in approval, its light a beacon in the dimming pass. The encounter with the guardian of flames was a vivid reminder of the sun path's teachings, the necessity of harmony between opposing forces. The desert, with its scorching days and freezing nights, was itself a land of extremes, a place where life persisted by embracing both the sun's wrath and the night's embrace. As Alex continued the ascent, the lesson of the guardian lingered. The trials of the sun path were not mere obstacles, but teachings, each encounter a step closer to understanding the Sun King's wisdom. The mountain path wound higher, leading Alex towards new challenges, where the balance between light and shadow, fire and ice would be ever the key to advancement. The Guardian of Flames, though vanquished, had illuminated a fundamental truth of the quest for the Palace of the Sun King. The journey was as much about internal discovery as it was about overcoming external trials. With the talisman as a guide and the lessons of the desert etched in heart and mind, Alex pressed onward ready for the trials that awaited in the mountain's embrace. 
Beyond the pass where Alex had faced the Guardian of Flames, the path led to a temple carved directly into the heart of the mountain. Its entrance framed by pillars that blazed with the golden light of the setting sun. This was the Temple of Ancient Light, a sanctum dedicated to the Sun King's history and philosophy. Here, Alex was to face the riddles of the Ancient Light, a trial of wisdom and insight. Stepping into the temple, Alex was enveloped in a light that seemed to pulse with the life of the sun itself. The interior was vast, halls stretching out like rays of light, each leading to chambers adorned with frescoes that depicted the sun king's reign. Scenes of prosperity, of harmony between the land and its people, and of the king's profound connection to the sun. At the heart of the temple, in a chamber where the sunlight from above illuminated an altar, lay the trial's challenge. Engraved on the altar were riddles, each a verse in the ancient language of the desert recounting aspects of the Sun King's life and his philosophical teachings. To progress, Alex had to solve these riddles, unlocking the deeper spiritual essence of the journey. The first riddle spoke of the Sun King's birth at dawn's first light, a child of the sun's first rays. The solution, Alex realized, lay in positioning a series of mirrors within the temple to catch and direct the morning light onto the altar. As the light touched the engraved riddle, the words transformed, revealing the path to a chamber that detailed the king's early years and his innate connection to the sun. Another riddle described the Sun King's rule, a time when the land flourished under his guidance. This riddle required Alex to interpret a mosaic depicting the kingdom at its zenith. By tracing the sun's journey across the sky, reflected in the mosaic's golden tiles. Alex uncovered the sequence to press the tiles, which opened a passage to a library. Here, scrolls and texts illuminated the Sun King's wise governance. His efforts to balance prosperity with the natural world and his philosophy of ruling as the sun did, giving life and warmth to all. The final riddle was the most challenging, reflecting on the Sun King's legacy and the palace of solid gold that awaited those who could understand his deepest teachings. This riddle necessitated not just intellectual insight, but a moment of introspection. Alex had to cast a shadow upon the altar at the precise angle of the setting sun, merging their silhouette with the engraved depiction of the Sun King. It was an act of unity symbolizing the Seeker's alignment with the Sun King's spirit and wisdom. As Alex's shadow merged with the Sun King's image, the chamber was bathed in a brilliant golden light, revealing a hidden passageway. 
This path led upward, toward the mountain summit, each step echoing with the lessons learned within the temple. The riddles had not only unveiled the way forward, but had deepened Alex's understanding of the journey's spiritual essence. The pursuit of harmony, wisdom, and enlightenment as embodied by the Sun King. Emerging from the temple, Alex looked back at the path traveled, the trials faced, and the lessons learned. The journey through the temple of ancient light had been more than a test of intellect. It had been a pilgrimage through the heart of the Sun King's legacy. With a renewed sense of purpose and understanding, Alex continued the ascent, the summit's silhouette outlined against the stars, a beacon calling them to the final trials of the sun path. As Alex continued the ascent toward the mountain summit, the sky began to darken, an unexpected shadow creeping across the sun. It was a rare solar eclipse, an event that Alex realized must hold significant meaning on the sun path. The landscape transformed under the eclipse's shadow, revealing hidden pathways and altering the very nature of the light that guided Alex's journey. The path now led Alex to a secluded valley, hidden from the eyes of those who walked the sunlit paths. Here, under the muted light of the eclipsed sun, the environment revealed secrets long kept from the uninitiated. Stones along the path glowed softly, illuminated from within, guiding Alex to a hidden grove encircled by ancient trees that seemed to absorb the light, their leaves shimmering with a spectral glow. In the heart of the grove stood a structure unlike any Alex had encountered thus far, a temple built not of stone, but of living vines and flowers pulsating with life. The air hummed with a silent power, a sanctity preserved through ages. This was the sanctuary of a secret society, the custodians of the eclipse. Followers dedicated to protecting the mysteries of the Sun King's realm and ensuring the balance between light and shadow. As Alex approached, figures emerged from the temple, their robes reflecting the eclipse's subdued light, patterns shifting with the phases of the sun and moon. They greeted Alex not with suspicion, but with an air of expectation, as if Alex's arrival had been foretold. The leader of the custodians, a figure robed in fabrics that seemed woven from moonlight and shadow, stepped forward. Seeker of the Sun King's palace, they began, their voice echoing the tranquility of the grove. You have journeyed far and faced the trials of the Sun Path. But understanding the realm of the Sun King requires seeing beyond the light, into the shadow it casts. The eclipse served as a gateway for Alex, an initiation into deeper mysteries. 
the custodians shared their knowledge of the Sun King's realm. Speaking of the balance necessary to maintain its splendor and the role of shadows in defining the light, they revealed that the Sun King's wisdom extended beyond the radiance of gold and the warmth of sunlight. It encompassed the duality of existence, the interplay of light and darkness. Alex learned that the rare eclipses were moments of profound power, times when hidden truths could be revealed and the paths to deeper understanding opened. The custodians entrusted Alex with a fragment of shadow essence, a talisman that would allow the seeker to navigate the spaces between light and shadow, revealing pathways that remained obscured to those blinded by the sun's glare alone. As the eclipse waned and light began to reclaim the sky, the custodians offered Alex guidance for the final ascent to the summit. They spoke of a trial that would test not only Alex's resolve and wisdom, but the ability to embrace the balance between light and shadow. With their blessings, Alex left the grove, the path now illuminated by a new understanding of the Sun King's teachings. The encounter with the custodians of the eclipse marked a turning point in Alex's quest. Armed with the knowledge of the Sun's dual nature and the essence of shadow, Alex faced the mountain summit, not just as a seeker of gold or glory, but as a pilgrim in pursuit of a deeper truth. The harmonious balance that sustains all things. As the path climbed higher, the boundaries between day and night, light and shadow, seemed to blur reflecting the lessons of the eclipse. Ahead lay the final test, the culmination of the journey on the sun path, where the sun king's riddle awaited, promising the revelation of the ultimate mystery. Following the enlightening encounter with the custodians of the eclipse, Alex's journey led to the base of the mountain summit, where the path took an unexpected turn inward. Here lay the passage of reflections, a labyrinth constructed from mirrors that towered towards the sky, their surfaces reflecting not just the physical form, but the innermost essence of those who dared to enter. The labyrinth was a trial of introspection, a physical manifestation of the journey Alex had undertaken. Each mirrored path not only reflected Alex's image, but also projected visions of past fears, desires, and the moments that had defined the quest thus far. These reflections forced Alex to confront the very nature of their pursuit. Was it the lure of the Sun King's gold? A desire for fame? Or a deeper quest for enlightenment? As Alex navigated the labyrinth, the reflections began to shift revealing scenes that tested resolve and character. One path showed Alex standing before a vast treasure, gold gleaming under the sun. But as Alex reached out, the image shattered, 
revealing the emptiness of material wealth without purpose. Another path mirrored a possible future, one of renown and glory, but alone and unfulfilled. A stark reminder of the importance of connections and the journey shared with others. With each step, the labyrinth challenged Alex to shed layers of doubt, fear, and ego to confront the truth of their motivations. It was a harrowing journey, as the mirrors demanded not just courage to face external dangers, but the bravery to confront the self, to acknowledge flaws and strengths alike. In the heart of the labyrinth, Alex faced the final reflection, a door of polished obsidian, a mirror to the soul. Here, the ultimate trial awaited. To enter, Alex had to accept the entirety of their journey, the successes and failures, the moments of strength and vulnerability. It was a test of acceptance, understanding that the quest for the Sun King's palace was not just a pursuit of external wonders, but an inward journey of growth and enlightenment. With a deep breath, Alex embraced the reflections of the past, acknowledging each with gratitude and acceptance. The obsidian door dissolved upon this realization, revealing not an exit, but a chamber of light, the heart of the mountain, where the Sun King's presence was said to reside. This chamber, bathed in the golden light of the setting sun, was the antithesis of the labyrinth's shadows. Here, the journey's trials coalesced into a moment of clarity and understanding. Alex realized that the true treasure of the quest was the wisdom gained. The inner gold forged through trials and reflection. The passage of reflections had been the final test of worthiness before the summit. It proved that to meet the Sun King, one must first navigate the complexities of their own heart and mind. Alex emerged from the labyrinth transformed, not just a seeker of gold, but a seeker of enlightenment, ready to face the summit's final challenge with a heart open to the mysteries of the Sun King's realm. The ascent to the summit awaited, the path now clear of physical obstacles, but laden with the weight of anticipation. The final test of the Sun King's riddle loomed ahead, a challenge not just of intellect, but of spirit. Alex stepped forward, the lessons of the labyrinth echoing with each step, a reminder that the true journey was not just to a place on a map, but to the depths of one's own soul. Upon emerging from the passage of reflections, transformed by the journey of introspection, Alex's path led to the Valley of Echoes, a serene expanse nestled between the mountain's peaks. This valley, bathed in the soft light of the twilight, was said to be where the voices of those who had walked the sun path before whispered on the wind, their tales carried through time. The air in the valley vibrated with a subtle energy, a 
chorus of whispers that seemed to emerge from the very stones and air. As Alex ventured deeper, the whispers grew clearer, morphing into voices that recounted tales of quests for the Sun King's palace. Each adventure story, a thread in the tapestry of the valley's memory. One voice spoke of a journey fueled by a quest for glory, a tale that ended not in triumph, but in humility, teaching Alex the value of seeking wisdom over accolades. Another voice, softer and tinged with sorrow, recounted a quest for redemption, a reminder that the path to enlightenment was also one of forgiveness of oneself and others. The Valley of Echoes served as a living archive of the Sun Path's history, each echo a lesson in perseverance, courage, and the myriad reasons that drew seekers to the Sun King's realm. Through these voices, Alex learned of hidden dangers, of moments where the light of hope dimmed, and how the heart's resilience could rekindle it. One tale, more vivid than the rest, told of an adventurer who had reached the summit, but turned back, overwhelmed by the final test. This voice, heavy with regret, imparted a crucial insight. The Sun King's challenge was not a test of strength or intellect alone, but of the spirit's readiness to embrace the unknown. As night fell, the valley filled with a symphony of voices, each adding their melody to the night's chorus. Alex, sitting beneath the stars, realized that these tales were not warnings, but gifts. Each voice, with its tale of triumph or loss, was a guiding light, illuminating the path forward with the wisdom of experiences lived and lessons learned. Armed with this newfound understanding, Alex rose at dawn, the valley's echoes fading into the morning light, leaving behind a profound silence that spoke of journeys completed and those yet to come. The path ahead, once daunting, now seemed a continuation of a journey shared with countless others, each step forward a testament to the shared human quest for meaning and purpose. The Valley of Echoes had imparted its wisdom, teaching Alex that the final challenges on the path to the Sun King's palace were not to be faced alone. The voices of the past, with their successes and failures, had forged a connection across time, empowering Alex with the collective strength and insight of those who had walked the path before. With a heart buoyed by the echoes of the valley, Alex continued the ascent, the summit's peak now in sight, a silhouette against the dawn sky. The final test of the Sun King's riddle awaited, a culmination of the physical and spiritual journey Alex had undertaken. Yet, with the wisdom of the valley's voices as a guide, the path forward seemed not just possible, but destined. The Valley of Echoes with its chorus of past adventurers, had transformed the journey, 
reminding Alex that the quest was not just a solitary endeavor, but a link in the chain of seekers stretching through time. With each step towards the summit, Alex carried not just personal hopes and fears, but the aspirations and lessons of those who had dared to dream of the Sun King's palace. The ascent from the Valley of Echoes led Alex to the threshold of the final trial before the Sun King's palace, the Cavern of Solar Whispers. Towering at the mountain's side, the entrance to the cavern was marked by ancient symbols that glowed with the light of the setting sun, casting elongated shadows that seemed to beckon Alex inward. As Alex stepped into the cavern, a silence enveloped them, a stark contrast to the vibrant echoes of the valley behind. This silence was soon replaced by a chorus of whispers, not of past adventurers, but of the cavern itself, a test of resolve and spirit crafted by the Sun King to guard the path to his realm. The whispers were seductive, weaving doubts and fears into a tapestry of temptation designed to turn seekers away from their quest. They spoke of the dangers that lay ahead, of the impossibility of the challenges, and of the comforts and safety forsaken in pursuit of the quest. Each whisper was a thread of uncertainty, aiming to ensnare Alex's determination and erode their resolve. But Alex, fortified by the journey's trials and the wisdom of the Valley of Echoes, pressed forward. The lessons learned from the voices of past adventurers provided a shield against the cavern's doubts. Alex understood that these whispers were the final guardians of the Sun King's palace, a test not of physical might, but of the strength of one's conviction and the purity of one's purpose. Recalling the tales from the Valley of Echoes, Alex countered each whisper with a memory of the journey. Moments of fear overcome, challenges bested, and the growth that had transformed a simple quest for gold into a quest for enlightenment. With each step, Alex's resolve grew stronger, the whispers fading into mere echoes of attempts to dissuade. The cavern's path twisted and turned, a labyrinth of doubt that mirrored the passage of reflections. Yet the darkness here was not of the soul, but of the mind's fears. The talisman, glowing softly in Alex's hand, served as both a beacon and a reminder of the journey's purpose, illuminating the path through the cavern with the light of inner strength and conviction. As Alex navigated the cavern's depths, the whispers grew desperate. Their attempts to dissuade now turned to pleas, acknowledging Alex's unwavering determination. And then, as suddenly as they had begun, the whispers ceased, giving way to a profound silence that enveloped the cavern. Emerging from the darkness, Alex found themselves at the cavern's end, where a narrow passage opened onto a breathtaking vista. 
the Sun King's palace, resplendent in the golden light of dawn, stood before Alex, its gates gleaming with the promise of ancient secrets and wisdom long sought. The cavern of solar whispers had been the final guardian, its whispers a test of the seeker's heart and mind. In overcoming its challenge, Alex had proven themselves worthy of standing before the Sun King's palace, not as a conqueror, but as a true seeker of enlightenment. The gates to the palace stood open, as if welcoming Alex after a long journey. With a heart full of gratitude for the trials faced and the lessons learned, Alex stepped forward, crossing the threshold into the realm of the Sun King, where the final mysteries awaited discovery. The journey through the trials of the Sun Path had prepared Alex for this moment, each trial a step on the path not just to the palace, but to understanding the deeper truths of the quest itself. As Alex entered the Sun King's realm, it was with the knowledge that the true treasure was not the palace of gold, but the journey that had led them here, a journey of transformation, enlightenment, and the eternal pursuit of wisdom. As Alex stepped through the golden gates, the Sun King's realm unfolded before them in a spectacle of light and beauty. The palace, constructed from gold that gleamed under the sun's eternal gaze, was not just a monument to the Sun King's power, but a testament to a society that had mastered the art of living in harmony with the sun's boundless energy. The architecture was unlike anything Alex had encountered on their journey. Structures with sweeping curves and towering spires captured the sunlight, channeling it into the city beneath. The streets were alive with the residents of the realm, beings whose skin shimmered with a golden hue, reflecting the light in a myriad of colors. These were the Sun People, the guardians of the Sun King's secrets, and the stewards of his realm. Alex marveled at the technology that allowed the city to flourish. Solar crystals mounted on rooftops and integrated into the very fabric of the buildings powered everything from the simplest household devices to the most complex machinery. Water flowed abundantly drawn from deep wells and purified using the sun's energy, sustaining lush gardens and crops that fed the populace. The society was a utopia of sorts, where knowledge and wisdom were valued above all. The sun people were scholars, artisans, and engineers each contributing to the realm's prosperity through their mastery of solar magic and technology. Their clothing, woven from threads that glimmered in the sunlight, depicted scenes of their history and philosophy, a living tapestry of their connection to the Sun King and his teachings. 
As Alex walked the streets, they were met with curious glances, but also with smiles. A warm welcome from a people unaccustomed to outsiders, yet open to sharing their world. The Sun People spoke of their king with reverence, a ruler who was both a benevolent guardian and an enlightened teacher. It was clear that the Sun King was not just a figure of myth, but a real presence in their lives, guiding them with wisdom accumulated over centuries. The palace itself was a marvel of engineering and artistry. Each hall and chamber was designed to capture the sun's light at different times of the day, creating a dynamic tapestry of shadows and illumination that told the story of the Sun King's reign, of the balance between light and shadow, and of the harmony that governed the natural world. This dance, both beautiful and complex, was a ritual that reaffirmed their devotion to the Sun King and their commitment to upholding the principles of his realm. As the ceremony concluded, the acolytes approached Alex, recognizing them as an outsider, yet honoring them as a guest who had braved the trials of the sun path to reach this sacred place. In a gesture of welcome, they bestowed upon Alex a cloak woven from the same shimmering material as their own garments, a symbol of protection and acceptance within the Sun King's court. Alex was overwhelmed by the beauty and depth of the court's rituals, realizing that the court of eternal day was not just a physical space, but a manifestation of the realm's spiritual heart. Here, in the presence of the acolytes, and under the gaze of the absent Sun King, Alex felt a profound connection to the universe and its underlying truths, a sense of belonging that transcended the quest for the Golden Palace. The experience in the Court of Eternal Day marked a pivotal moment in Alex's journey, a transition from seeking external treasures to discovering the inner riches of wisdom, enlightenment, and understanding. As they prepared to finally meet the Sun King, Alex reflected on the journey that had brought them here, recognizing that the true essence of the realm lay not in its material wealth, but in the eternal light of knowledge and the perpetual day of the spirit. After the enlightening experience at the court of eternal day, Alex was led through a series of radiant corridors, each turn and archway bathed in a soft, golden light that seemed to guide them forward. The anticipation built with every step, a mix of curiosity and an unexplained sense of coming home. The path culminated at a grand door, its surface reflecting the journey's trials, victories, and the lessons learned along the way. The door opened without a sound, revealing a chamber that defied all expectations. It was a vast, circular room, the ceiling a dome of translucent gold 
that allowed the sun to fill the space with a warm, embracing light. In the center stood the Sun King, not on a throne, but rather amidst a garden of golden flora and fauna, a living testament to the harmony between nature and the civilization he nurtured. The Sun King was unlike any ruler Alex had imagined. His form radiated a gentle yet powerful light, his features timeless and kind, embodying the wisdom of the ages. He was clothed in simple robes that shimmered with the light of the sun, his eyes reflecting the depth of the universe holding within them the cycles of stars and the calm of eternal dusk. As Alex approached, the Sun King greeted them with a voice that resonated with the warmth of the morning sun and the peace of the setting sun. Welcome, traveler, to the heart of my realm, he began his words flowing like a melody. You have journeyed far and faced the trials of the sun path with courage and an open heart. He explained that his palace, his realm, was not built on the hoarding of gold or material wealth, but on the accumulation and guardianship of knowledge the balance between light and darkness and the fostering of harmony within the self and with the world. The Sun King revealed that the legends of a palace made of gold were metaphors for the enlightenment and riches of the spirit that awaited those who sought the true light. To seek gold is to seek the transient, but to seek light is to seek the eternal, the Sun King imparted. The true treasure of this palace is not in its walls, but in the wisdom it houses, the balance it maintains, and the harmony it represents. The Sun King shared stories of the past, of civilizations that rose and fell by the ways of darkness and light, emphasizing the importance of their coexistence for the growth of the soul and the advancement of societies. He spoke of his role, not as a ruler who dominates, but as a guardian who guides, a teacher who enlightens, and a steward who protects the delicate balance of life. Alex listened, captivated by the Sun King's wisdom, realizing that the adventure had always been more than a quest for physical riches. It was a journey of personal growth of overcoming internal and external darkness to reach a place of understanding and enlightenment. The Sun King then bestowed upon Alex a final gift, a small, radiant crystal that pulsed with light. This crystal contains the essence of the sun's light, a reminder of the balance between day and night, light and shadow within us all. Carry it as a beacon of wisdom, a guide through darkness, and a reminder of the light that resides within you. The meeting with the Sun King transformed Alex, not only in purpose, but in spirit. The quest for the Golden Palace had led to discoveries far greater, the treasures of knowledge, 
the power of light and darkness in harmony and the realization that true riches lie not in material wealth, but in the wisdom and balance we cultivate within ourselves and share with the world. As Alex departed from the Sun King's presence, the journey back to the familiar world was not a departure, but a continuation of the quest. Now armed with the light of knowledge and a heart filled with newfound wisdom, the adventure had revealed that the greatest discoveries lie not at the end of a journey, but within the journey itself and in the lessons it teaches us about the world and our place within it. In the wake of their profound encounter with the Sun King, Alex felt a mixture of tranquility and anticipation as they were presented with a final challenge, a testament to their journey's culmination. This was no ordinary duel. It was a confrontation of wisdom, a trial of understanding that demanded the essence of Alex's experiences and the depth of their insight. The Sun King led Alex to a serene chamber, its walls adorned with frescoes that depicted the cyclical dance of the sun and the moon, embodying the eternal balance between light and darkness. At the chamber's center stood a table, upon which lay a simple set of scales and two golden orbs, their surfaces reflecting the journey's myriad lessons. The challenge before you is simple, yet profound, the Sun King began, his voice echoing the harmonious balance of day and night. You must place one orb on each side of the scales, but to achieve balance, you must imbue them with the essence of your understanding. One orb represents the light of your wisdom, the knowledge and enlightenment you've gained. The other embodies the shadow the challenges and fears you've overcome. Alex approached the task with a reflective heart, understanding that this was not a test of strength or intellect, but of inner balance and the integration of their journey's lessons. They held the first orb letting it absorb the light of their wisdom. The insights gleaned from the trials of the sun path, the enlightenment bestowed by the ancient riddles, and the truths revealed under the eclipse and through the valley of echoes. With equal reverence, Alex turned to the second orb, channeling into it the shadows they had faced, the doubts that whispered in the cavern of solar whispers, the fears reflected in the passage of reflections, and the humility learned in the presence of the Sun King himself. It was a recognition that darkness was not an adversary to be vanquished, but a vital counterpart to the light, essential for growth and understanding. As the orbs were placed on the scales, a moment of tense silence filled the chamber. Then, slowly, the scales began to move, seeking equilibrium. 
to Alex's relief and the Sun King's approving nod, the scales balanced perfectly, a testament to Alex's journey towards inner harmony and understanding. The Sun King smiled, a radiant expression that seemed to illuminate the chamber even further. You have shown great wisdom, Alex, he said. This duel was not about victory or defeat, but about demonstrating the balance within yourself. You have proven that you understand the true essence of your journey and the lessons it was meant to teach. He continued, The path of enlightenment is not about denying the shadows or seeking only the light. It is about embracing both, recognizing that each gives meaning and context to the other. You have learned to see beyond the surface, to find harmony within the dichotomy, and to carry forward the wisdom that this balance bestows. The duel of fates, as it was, concluded not with a winner and a loser, but with a profound mutual respect. Alex had not only gained the Sun King's respect, but it also cemented their understanding of the journey's true purpose. A quest not for external treasures, but for the riches of insight, balance, and inner enlightenment. This final trial marked the end of Alex's physical journey within the Sun King's realm, but it was just the beginning of a lifelong journey of understanding and growth. With the Sun King's blessing, Alex was ready to return to the world beyond the Golden Gates, carrying with them the eternal light of knowledge and the wisdom to navigate the shadows. The Sun King's challenge had been the ultimate lesson that the greatest strength lies in the balance of light and shadow within us all, and that wisdom and understanding are the most precious treasures one can aspire to on the journey through life. With the duel of understanding behind them and the scales and balance, the Sun King guided Alex to the heart of his golden palace, to a room that seemed to pulse with the life of the sun itself. The chamber was unlike any other in the palace, filled not with gold and jewels, but with an array of ancient tomes, intricate devices, that hummed with energy, and celestial maps that charted the heavens. The air itself shimmered with a light that seemed to imbue everything it touched with vitality and purpose. The treasure of my realm, the Sun King began, his voice resonant with the depth of centuries, is not the gold that adorns these walls, nor is it the material wealth that many seek. The true treasure is the wisdom accumulated over ages, the understanding of the cosmos, and the mastery over the energy that fuels life itself the power of the sun. He gestured toward the artifacts and scrolls. These are the legacies of those who walked the path of enlightenment before you. Each piece a testament to the pursuit of knowledge, 
each tome a chapter in the endless quest to understand the balance of existence. Alex, awestruck by the revelation, realized the magnitude of what stood before them. It was a treasure far surpassing any material wealth, a treasure that promised not transient glory, but eternal enlightenment. The Sun King's gaze met Alex's, a spark of celestial wisdom flickering in his eyes. You stand at a crossroads, Alex. One path leads you back to your world with gold enough to last a lifetime, a reward for your journey and the challenges you've overcome. The other path offers something far greater, the wisdom contained within these walls, the understanding of solar energy and the secrets to harness its power. This knowledge could transform your world, bring light to darkness and warmth to the cold. The choice was monumental, not merely a decision to be made in haste, but a reflection of the journey Alex had undertaken. They pondered the weight of the Sun King's offer. Gold, while tempting, was finite and bound to the material world. Yet, wisdom especially of this magnitude, held the promise of transformation, not just for Alex, but for humanity. It was a gift that could uplift societies, inspire generations, and ignite a new era of enlightenment. With a heart full of resolve and a spirit enlightened by the journey Alex spoke, I choose wisdom. The gold may brighten my days, but the light of knowledge will illuminate the ages. I wish to carry this treasure back to my world, to share the warmth of the sun's power and the brilliance of this ancient wisdom. The sun king smiled, a radiant, approving glow that filled the chamber. You have chosen wisely, Alex. Your heart is true and your spirit is enlightened. This wisdom will be your legacy, a beacon to guide your world towards a brighter future. He bestowed upon Alex a crystalline orb within which danced a miniature sun, a symbol of the knowledge and power now entrusted to them. With this, you carry the essence of the sun, the power to enlighten and to heal. Use it well, for it is a gift not just for you, but for all humanity. As Alex held the orb, they felt a surge of understanding a connection to the cosmos that transcended words. It was a treasure beyond gold, a treasure that promised a future where light would forever conquer darkness. The journey back to the world beyond the golden gates was not just a return but a beginning. Armed with the greatest treasure of all, Alex was ready to embark on a new quest, a quest to share the light of wisdom and to illuminate the path for all who seek enlightenment. With the crystalline orb, the essence of the sun's power, safely in hand, Alex prepared to depart from the golden palace of the Sun King. The journey back through the desert, once fraught with peril.
peril and uncertainty now seemed a path of enlightenment. Each step guided by the newfound wisdom and the light of the sun contained within the orb. The Sun King and his court of light beings bid farewell to Alex, not as a mere adventurer, but as a guardian of their legacy. Your journey does not end here, the Sun King imparted with a solemn yet hopeful tone. It begins anew with the dawn of each day. You carry within you the light to dispel shadows, not only from the world, but from the hearts of those who dwell within it. As Alex traversed the desert, the challenges that once tested their resolve now served as reminders of the growth and understanding they had achieved. The Mirage City that had tested their wisdom, the guardian of flames that challenged their courage, and the cavern of solar whispers that had tested their resolve. All were part of a journey that had transformed Alex from a seeker of gold to a bearer of light. Upon reaching the edge of the desert, the oasis where the journey had taken a fateful turn awaited. The mysterious traveler who had once shared tales of the Sun King and bestowed the cryptic map was nowhere to be found. But in their place, Alex found a gathering of people from nearby lands drawn to the oasis for respite. With the orb in hand and the light of knowledge in their heart, Alex shared the tale of their journey, the trials of the sun path, and the wisdom of the sun king. The people listened, captivated by the story of a realm where the sun's energy was harnessed not for wealth, but for enlightenment and the betterment of all. The transformation in Alex was evident, not just in the tale they told, but in the aura of understanding and purpose that surrounded them. They spoke not just of the Sun King's wisdom, but of the potential within each person to harness the light within themselves, to seek understanding over wealth, and to share the light with others. As Alex concluded the tale, the crystalline orb pulsed with a warm glow, a tangible symbol of the Sun King's legacy. This is not the end of a tale, Alex proclaimed, but the beginning of a new chapter for all of us. We have within our grasp the power to illuminate the darkest corners of our world, to bring warmth to the cold, and to guide those who seek the path of enlightenment. The journey back to civilization was not merely a return, but a mission. Alex, once an adventurer seeking gold, had become a guardian of a legacy far more precious. The wisdom of the Sun King, encapsulated within the orb, was a beacon calling forth a new era of enlightenment. In towns and cities, among scholars and rulers, Alex shared the teachings of the Sun King, demonstrating the power of the sun's energy harnessed through the orb. With each demonstration, 
With every tale of the journey through the trials of the sun path, more were inspired to turn their gaze upwards to the sun and to the potential within themselves. Alex's legacy became intertwined with that of the Sun King, a legacy not of conquest or wealth, but of enlightenment and the pursuit of a greater understanding. The orb, a symbol of this legacy, ignited a movement that spread like the dawn's light, promising a future where the wisdom of the Sun King would illuminate the world, guiding humanity on a path of harmony with the cosmos. The adventurer who had sought the palace of the Sun King for gold had found a treasure beyond measure. In choosing wisdom over wealth, Alex had ignited a legacy that would endure, a testament to the enduring power of light over darkness, and the unyielding quest for knowledge that defines the human spirit. <laughs>